Your test results have come back and it shows that you've been infected with the HIV sickness. People living with HIV can lead long and healthy life. HIV is a manageable sickness with daily medication. You can still have relationships, have sex, have kids, work, play sport, go fishing and hunting. You just need to change the way you do some things to make sure you and your people stay safe and healthy. Right now, you may feel shocked, worried or angry. That's okay. Maybe you have some questions you'd like to ask. What is HIV in the immune system? Your body has an immune system which protects you from illness. It is made up of special cells in your blood which fight illness and infection and keeps you well. HIV is a tiny virus. When it gets into your blood, it uses your immune cells to multiply. Over time, it damages your immune cells so they can't fight off infections. When the immune cells are damaged by HIV, they become weak and can't protect you from infection so you will get sick and you may even die. There is no cure for HIV, but there are strong medicines that stop HIV from multiplying. This helps your immune system get stronger so it can keep you healthy. You must take the medicine every day. When a doctor takes a blood test, they can measure how much HIV is in your blood. This is called viral load. The medicine can stop nearly all the HIV from multiplying, which means that over time, there is less and less HIV in your blood. By taking the medicines every day, there will eventually be such a small amount of HIV in your blood. The doctor will not be able to detect it with a blood test. This is called undetectable. This is what we want to happen. HIV never completely goes away, but if you keep it at an undetectable level, your immune system will grow stronger. You will stay well and you will not pass on HIV to someone else if you have unprotected sex. Until you are sure HIV is undetectable in your blood, using condoms for sex is the safest way to be sure you won't pass HIV to someone else. How is HIV spread? HIV is found in blood, semen, or cum, vaginal fluid, anal fluid, and breast milk. It's spread when these body fluids are passed into another person's body. The most common way it's spread is by having vaginal or anal sex without a condom, or sharing drug injecting equipment like syringes, needles, spoons, and tourniquets. A woman with HIV can give it to her baby during pregnancy, birth, or during breastfeeding. Now you have HIV, these are also the ways you can spread it to others. Ways to stop spreading HIV. Taking your HIV medication each day will help the virus become undetectable. Until you are sure HIV is undetectable in your blood, using condoms for sex with either a man or a woman is the safest way to be sure you won't pass HIV to someone else. Don't share any needles, syringes and other injecting equipment if using drugs. Talk to your doctor or clinic nurse if you have a baby or are thinking of having a baby. Don't share toothbrushes, razors or ceremonial tools. These can sometimes have blood on them too. Okay, I get I need to use condoms, not share needles and syringes or other things that may have blood on them. And that taking my treatment can reduce the amount of HIV in my body. What else is safe? Almost everything else is safe. You can shake hands, hug, kiss. Share a drink, food and a smoke. Use the same toilet and bathroom, and sneezing, coughing, and mosquito bites can't spread HIV. Who needs to know I have HIV? Well, your doctor or nurse will ask you about who you may have had unsafe sex with, or if you have shared injecting equipment with anyone. So these people can also get tested and treated if necessary. Don't worry, we'll keep your details confidential from them and their details private as well. Only medical and health workers who treat you will need to know. Other staff in the clinic will not be told. Any sexual partners will need to know. They can also take strong medicines to lower the risk of getting HIV. This is called PrEP. It's up to you whether you tell other family and friends. It's best if it's someone you trust that won't spread the news of your HIV around. Having someone you trust that you can talk to can be a big help. What do I do now? The most important thing is you need to take your medication daily as prescribed by your doctor and stay in contact with your doctor 
or nurse to monitor your immune system and the amount of HRV in your body. Next, you need to stay healthy, eat well, exercise, try to cut back drinking grog, taking any drugs, or even stop altogether. You're not alone. Many people live long and healthy lives with HRV. As long as they follow their doctor's advice, your medical and health workers are there to help and answer any questions and give you the best care possible.